It was started almost 80 years ago in the midst of the Depression with a $20 donation and a vision to create a permanent endowment fund in Victoria that would support community needs. Today, the Victoria Foundation's endowment fund has grown to more than $250 million. And this week, the organization's annual Vital Signs Report was released. It's a full house for the release of the Victoria Foundation's 10th Annual Vital Signs Report. As an indicator of what's important to the region, this in-depth survey has become an essential reference for decision makers at every level. Vital Signs changed the way we do granting. We're more proactive granters now. If the community is telling you these are important issues, you know, what are you doing as the Victoria Foundation to make a difference? The region's top five issues? Transportation is number five, followed by homelessness, mental illness, housing, and for the seventh year in a row, cost of living at 49.6%. It's a real challenge um, for everyone as we see wages and, and income essentially being relatively stagnant, um, yet costs going up. The Vital Signs Report surveys and grades 12 issues, including health and wellness, safety, economy, arts and culture, and transportation, which fell from a B- in 2014 to a C- plus in this year's report. One of the things that we're seeing in that transportation piece is an expectation of more action than we're getting. We look at something like the, the Mackenzie Interchange, that should be an improvement. We've been working on that now for 10 years, and you know, in another five years we'll see an interchange. <laughs> Many of the 191 community foundations across Canada produce their own Vital Signs report card to gauge the strengths and challenges within their community. Victoria's keynote speaker believes this in-depth survey is a more accurate representation of a nation's health than the gross domestic product indicator. Well, GDP is a measure of economic activity. So, for example, all of the economic activity of the tobacco industry and all of the economic activity of the healthcare system in fixing tobacco-caused disease adds to GDP, which is really kind of crazy. We need to navigate by a range of different measures that reflect environmental and social and economic and human development goals and indicators. That's exactly what Vital Signs is doing. Click on the links tab of our website to read the Vital Signs report. This check program is brought to you in part by Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.